having ADHD affects every aspect of your life, including wrestling, okay? I've been wrestling with ADHD since I started wrestling because I've always had ADHD and I still have it as an adult. I never got medication for it and these are the things that I did, these are the skills that I learned to overcome having ADHD and to like actually be, com be competitive with other people. Before I get into that, I wanna say I've never had an actual schedule for this channel and I think it's time. Like Stitch just ended, I was working a ton last week and I was trying to make videos too and like my videos didn't come out so like now I'm gonna post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 p.m. I'm gonna premiere my videos, okay? So rain, wind, or shine, I'm going to post a video. If my video doesn't come out well and I feel like it's not high enough quality for the channel then I'm just gonna live stream because oftentimes what happens and what happened last week is like I'll work late or something or I'll have to coach and I'll come home, I'll make a video and then when I come back to look at the video, I'll see like either the audio is messed up, the video is messed up, some of the instructions that I gave were wrong. You know what I mean? Like I said something that like later when I'm editing, I'm like, that isn't right. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to do my best to provide you guys with quality content. So that means I have to like really filter a lot of the stuff that I make out. And that sucks because there's a lot of content that you guys don't get to see. It keeps the quality pretty high, I think. And another thing, I, like, I can't always film the kind of videos that I want because it involves so many people. I need a cameraman. I need someone to film with me. We have to be on like in a location. On So on the days that I can't like provide you guys with good quality content, I'm just gonna live stream. At the end of this video, if you guys like it, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the notification button so that like you guys actually see when I post my videos in case you guys can't follow that simple schedule. So just jumping right into this, having ADHD is something that affects every aspect of your wrestling career, right? From beginning to end, from when you step into the wrestling room to when you step onto, so like you get your hand raised on the wrestling mat, right? To like the actual competitions. This affects every aspect of it because it's like, it deals with the way you think, it deals with like how effective you are at thinking. You know what I mean? I don't know if this is for every single person with ADHD or if it's just me, but I like I pick things up pretty quickly. I'm pretty, like I think, of myself as like pretty able to learn new information. Like I can pick it up and conceptualize it pretty quickly. So I explain it like this. My mind is like a laser beam, right? Pretend this, my hand is a task, right? And I have to, and like, I have to illuminate my whole hand to understand this task, all right? Sometimes they're really small. Sometimes the task is the size of my finger. Sometimes it's a big task and it's the size of my hand, right? But I have to, put light on every single part of my hand. You know what I mean? With a laser beam, right? It's really bright right here. It's really well lit up right here, but the rest is really dark. You know what I mean? So I have to like be all over the place and oftentimes I run off the page and like I'm not even touching the hand. I'm not even lighting up the hand. Whereas other people, they're more like a flashlight. You know what I mean? They can light up their the entire hand, but it's not very bright and they probably have to spend more time lighting it to have it fully illuminated. You know what I mean? They have to spend more time actually like on the trigger doing it to like actually have it as lit up as I would with like, you know what I mean, with my laser. Basically, basically what that means is like, if I have a math lesson in front of me, right? I will figure it out and I will understand it really quickly. Like what the teacher is saying, I'll be like, all right, I get that and I'll do it and I'll do it on paper, right? But to actually, get the sheet of paper, like get the work and apply it to this. By the time I'm like two or three questions in, four questions in, I'll get bored and I'll start thinking about something else. I'll start talking to someone, I'll start. And I might do those questions faster than everyone else, but the point is I don't finish the paper. Whereas someone else can just sit down and they'll take their time and they'll do one problem. All right, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one, let's do the next one. And they'll get done with all 20 problems or whatever it is. It's very difficult for me to do that. And that's because like the voice inside my head, like for example, it, the voice inside my head is very weak. You know what I mean? So for example, if you tell me to do something, like it's Monday, it's nine o'clock, I just walked in. They're like, all right, you have to do this thing at five o'clock on Wednesday, all right? A normal person, right? Or like when I'm on Adderall, when I take Adderall every day, I know this now because I'm an adult and I got myself prescribed Adderall. It's like you have a voice in your head. You have something telling you about the things that you already learned, like the like the upcoming events, you know what I mean? It's like you have someone telling you these things that you need to do. Whereas 
when you're off your medication or you're, you have ADHD, like if I'm looking at this glass, I'm thinking only about this glass. And that is with everything in life. You know what I mean? If I'm looking at this glass, I can only think about this glass. All right, I'm thinking about how many lines there. I'm like, this is pretty clear, but not that clear. It's a little blurry on the outside. It's pretty big, probably hold the whole bottle of water. Um, it gets smaller, and it goes from smaller to bigger, probably to help with spills. Um, it's got a thick bottom. I don't know, holds a little bit. It's still got a little bit of water in it. You know what I mean? Like when I'm looking at this glass, I don't even think, like I can't think about like when I'm thinking about the glass, I can't think about my subscribers. I can't think about wrestling. I can't think about, you know, I'm just thinking about the glass. You know what I mean? And this goes with everything, right? So I would be in wrestling, right? I would be like in practice, like watching my my coach in, like instruct something, show whatever it is, a double leg, or like literally whatever it is, right? And I'd want to pay attention, right? The point is I want to. I want to learn how to do this to other people. Like I did... Like, I want to be better than other people. But in the middle of him teaching, I'll start thinking about my girlfriend. Or I'd start thinking about how bad I roasted that kid in lunch. Or like, how, you know what I mean? I just start thinking about other things. It took me a long time to realize that the second my shoes get put on, my wrestling shoes get put on, I have to only think about wrestling. You know what I mean? That is the only thing I can think about. Like, I have to be focused on wrestling the whole time. If my mind goes anywhere else, then my opponents are going to surpass me because they're gonna be spending like their entire wrestling practice focusing on wrestling. What would happen is he would, ex like, and this wouldn't just happen once, it would happen like every single time that he would explain something. Like he would explain something, we'd go to do it, and I would have no clue what I'm doing. I'd be like, all right, hang on, what? What did he just say? Like, what did he just, and like, that's my fault. And I like, I didn't really even get close to mastering this. I didn't master it until like I was in college. Right, and I realized it after college, like what I was doing. I was like, you know what I mean? You learn things, like making these videos, I learned things about myself. Like it wasn't until I was making videos where I was like, I let myself get way too distracted. Like way, 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 way too distracted. Cause like when I was a junior, I lost like over 20 matches. Okay, that's a lot of matches, right? I went like 30 something and 20. And at least 12 of them, 12 that I can remember, right? We're because I got distracted. We're because I was like, I'd be beating them, I'd be on top or something, and then I'd start thinking about like my mom or like, I'd start like, someone would be screaming like, Isaac, Isaac, and I'd be like, what? It's very easy to get distracted and it's very easy to lose yourself, especially if you don't know what to look for. You know what I mean? Especially if you're just completely ignorant to the fact that this is happening to you. So what I did my senior year that helped me a ton, I went on like, a three month win streak where like I didn't get a point scored on me. I literally didn't get like, I didn't get taken down you guys. I didn't get taken down, I didn't get reversed. I didn't get a point scored on me for three months, okay? I'm not saying this is only because of that. Like maybe we have weaker competition in Florida. Maybe like I train more than other people. What I was doing is before every match, I would put earplugs in. I would put wax earplugs into my ear. And the only, th like after I put those earplugs in, I couldn't hear anyone anyone except for the other team's coach okay and like i didn't really even need to hear my coach like i'm not trying to talk shit about my coaches but like my my matches would happen so fast that it was very difficult to coach you know what i mean i'd go from like being on top to hitting a spiral ride to hitting a two-on-one to hitting a half to hitting a arm bar to hitting a claw to like you know what i mean until one of them worked so like for like so as a coach it's like a bunch of things are going on and you can't even think about, like by the time you finish thinking about one, two things have already happened and that information's useless. So it's like, it's hard to, it, it's hard to like actually coach, right? So my coaches weren't much help. And like when I have my earplugs in, I can just look at his arms, I can look at his legs and I'm just focused like on what is going on. I'm like, all right, his arms right here, his arms right here. I can hear his coach saying inside trip, boom, duck. All right. And like to figure out what you're going to do, in that moment of time would take me like, I'm telling you guys, no time at all. It was almost compulsive. Like I would just pick something to do and be like, whoop, we're doing it. And like, whether they liked it or not, they were going for the ride, you know what I mean? Like they wouldn't have time to defend or sprawl. I just compulsively like, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, putting earplugs in for me was a game changer. It was a complete game changer. Learning that Every time my shoes get put on, my mentality has to only be about wrestling. 
having to be disciplined about that, having to correct myself about that was a game changer, you guys. You have no idea how much better I got at wrestling. Just because, like, I focused all two hours of practice on getting better at wrestling. I premiere my videos. Um, if you guys like that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm actually going to the doctor right now to see what's wrong with my shoulder and to get my medication. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.